This is a review of what we did in Tuesday's class. So sort of one hand, we looked at the full uh, version of the text, the two-person form from the patient's point of view. And then in the sort of dagger section, we looked, we reviewed again, the sort of dagger two-person form, the version of the text, and looked at the agent's side of the provocations from long tail with the right way forward. So I'll go through the uh, sword of one hand first. We'll do that from a few different angles, and then we'll move on to sword dagger. So from the top, this is the review part. Go extract it with a mandrito, space guard, step out, Ibrocata comes in, beat the true edge, slice with the tondo, step around, mandrito to the leg, defend the false edge, cut to the head, defend to the head, reverso, use my own reverso, come up, thrust, relax to portfel alto, thrust comes to my outside, change to entry, step in, step back to wild boar, any attack comes but likely thrust or reverso, beat, thrust, come all the way down to portfel larga, a cutter is coming to my face, so I make contact, prevent from going forward, tone to my head, use space guard, step back, fendente to my head, come in, intesta, seize their wrist, cut to the head, or cut to their leg, and that's it. Starting from this side, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one more time. One. to Sword and Dagger. Just a quick one more recap of this. Starting in long tail, put the reverse comes in, defend the false edge, reverse the leg, step back, with his Tarazone, ending in one board. Faint is Toccata, so I go to meet it. Madrid does the actual attack. I step around, come down with his Tarazone from my right. Faint high verso, so I, if he goes low, I cut to the arm as I step back. If he goes to my leg, thrust, cut, and up. Alternatively, he may go for the head. So, do something that is not in his defense section, it's a little bit different, is that I'm actually going to step with my left foot, just this half step to his right side, to his outside, as I strike at the same tempo. But for now we'll say that they have done this, so I've defended, thrusted, cut to leg, cut up, a Hundi Fausto comes in, raise a hand, bring this down, transition up to unicorn left, whatever comes forward, Clear to my outside, or my inside, his outside, stab, and finish. As for the provocations, we have a number of them, some of which are quite closely related. So the first one we looked at was a false edge beat the sword, followed by a true edge beat the sword, ending up in Iron Gate. So one and two. Now what I do next really depends on what they, my partner, does. If they step back, they stay in place, they go to attack. So a number of our provocations are just that, just to see what they're going to do. Get them out of guard so I can build up a 
the tempo deficit. I can also do that by doing a stramazzone to their sword as well. So either false edge true edge or stramazzone, in both cases ending up in iron gate. The third possibility we have is throwing a false edge from below to the exposed left wrist, presumably on the bottom there, the exposed part. So again, just slipping this left foot behind and going for the hand, which should get it should get the movement. If not, you'll find it very hard to hold the dagger again. I could also, in that left foot triangle step, do the punta in falso, so this kind of false edge fendente that looks an awful lot like in Mokata in the waiting, because that's what it is. So I do that over their dagger. If they don't really cover, I'll proceed with the number nine, touch their chest. If they do do something like this, which is what I want them to do, then I go low or I go high with a mangrito. So one more time, I go for this putin falso, no, no resistance, I go for it, yes, cut, or cut, depending on what they have in the way. Next up we have our putera, putera verso, our two options here, which is our standard, except it's a little bit easier now because now this can keep their blade in check. Do that again to the side, step to their outside, trade as you step across to their inside, cut to the head of the tongue and step around. Alternatively, one, two, three. One, two, three, which is just like we have in the defense section. Finally, we have the fun little bit with the gathering step and our setup for the slip. So if my partner is opening these up, which tells me that they know how to do the slip defense, meaning this one, I will I'll bite, and when I do the slip, I will interrupt them with my hinging step in entry guard. So I go up the center of the stoccata. As they start moving this around, I'm going to step around and drive both weapons into the chest. So I cut up the center, they start coming around, I step around and hit. So it doesn't have to be this big circuit of motion, but you kind of want to just swing around with this left foot. So you come in, and then just transition to long tail with your left foot forward. Finally, we just have our gathering step, which I was mentioning last time, you want to make sure that you are not elevating or sinking as you're doing this. So I bring this left foot in, my upper body still staying at the same elevation. Also doing this, I'm not going straight forward, so I'm not doing this, which is very fabulous task, but I'm going on this angle. So if I keep walking this way, I will eventually go past the line, go past the partner on an angle. For obvious reasons, this only really works to their inside. You can't really do this to the outside. It's a little bit it's too risky because I'm really exposed on my right side, and I have a great response for that. So for time, left foot comes in, right foot goes forward. And the idea is that if I, if I let you keep doing this, I can just reach my hand out and thrust or cut to whatever opening there is. So that's it for today. Uh, next time we're looking at the responses to these and maybe get a touch of Kurunga Alta.